a spherical balloon is being filled with water at the rate of dV by dt of 0.125 liters per second. Find the rate of increase of the surface area when the balloon contains 3.425 liters. And these are the two formulas that uh, is required, or we need to know it. Or it, this is given. Okay, so here one thing that you should understand is this surface area is going to be in either centimeter squared or meter squared. Uh, and this is also going to be in centimeter squared or meter squared. But, so, but here, this is in liters. So uh, centimeter squared and liters are not compatible. So I think you should know this fact. One centimeter cube is equal to one milliliter. Okay, and the second fact I hope you know is 1,000 milliliter is one liter is one liter. So if you want to change this into, first we'll change this into, we'll first change this into liters, which is one liter is 1,000 milliliters, so 0.125 liters is 125 milliliters per second, which is same as 125 centimeter cube per second. And this would be, this is how much, 3,425 milliliters, which is same as 3,425 centimeter cube. So now you can work on this because this is going to be in centimeters or centimeter squared, and this is going to be centimeter cube. Okay, so let's move on. So, well, using this, you got this information. You want to find the rate of increase of the surface area. So the question is, what is ds, dsa by dt? What is the rate of change of the surface area when the volume, or when the volume of the balloon is 3,425 centimeter cube? This is all we know. Okay, so let me scroll this up slightly up. Okay, so what can we do now? Well, I've got uh, D, this is this is what I've got, S surface area is 4 pi R squared. So using this, differentiating this with respect to R, I can say DSA by DR is going to be 4 pi, t 4 pi times 2R is going to be 8 pi R. 4 pi times 2r is going to be 4 pi times 2r is going to be 8 pi r. So let's leave that. And this, if we differentiate v with respect to r, dv by dr is going to be 4 over 3 pi times 3r squared. So 3 gets cancelled. So dv by dr is 3 pi sorry, it is, uh, 3 and 3 gets cancelled, so it will be 4 pi r squared. Okay, so now the question is, what is dsa by dt? Okay, so this is, so we can say, well, dsa, the rate of change of surface area, is going to be, we know dsa by dr, dsa by dr, I want to cancel dr, so I have to multiply by dr, and I know dv by dr, so from dv by dr, I can write dr by dv, and because you write dv here, you have to multiply by dv by dt. So basically, this is what will end up, dsa by dt. So this is a chain rule, so dr and dr gets cancelled, dv and dv gets cancelled. So that is equal to dsa by dr is 8 pi r and this if from this i hope you understand this implies dr by dv is going to be 1 over 4 pi r squared so i'm going to write that as 4 pi r times r so i'm going to write this as dr by dv is 1 over 4 pi r times r 
times dv by dt, which is 125. I'm not writing the unit. So this is, now just to understand the unit, this is going to be centimeter squared per second. Okay, just let's let's see. This is this is going to be uh, centimeter squared divided by centimeter. So that's going to be centimeter. Okay, or this basically what is remaining is dr and dr gets cancelled, dv and dv gets cancelled, and dsa is in centimeter squared divided by time, which is in seconds. So final answer would be centimeter squared per seconds. Units are very important for this type of question. So well, let's let me change color. So we can say dsa by dt. Let's simplify this. So this pi and pi gets cancelled. R and R gets cancelled. 4 goes in 8 twice. So what is remaining? This is going to be 250 over R. I would like you to stop here and think about this answer. What is this? Does this answer make sense? ds by dt, sorry, not dr. ds by dt is 250 divided by r. So if you think about this, this, uh, this equation does make sense. You can understand as the water is being filled, the rate of change of the surface area is going to decrease because this r, as this r gets bigger and bigger, this quantity is going to get smaller and smaller. And it does make sense. As radius increases, the rate of change of surface area is going to decrease. Now, well, this is in terms of r, but the question was, what's the, what's the rate of change of surface area when the volume is this? Now, well, if you know the volume, which is this, you can find the radius because you've got this formula. So you can pause this video and try to figure out what is r by substituting b as 3, 4, 2, 5 into this equation. Okay, so let's, so let's write this. Let me change color. So volume is going to be 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So we know the volume is 3425 centimeter cubed. So 3, 4, 2, 5 is equal to 4 over 3 pi times r cube times r cube and I want to make r the subject. This is times. So this is 3, 4, 2, 5 times 3 divided by 4 pi is going to be the r cube. So if you want to find r, r is cube root of this big number 3, 4, 2, 5 over 4 pi. So let me show this how you can do this on the calculator. So this is going to be run menu run. So I'll go 3, 4, 2, 5 times 3 divided by 4 shift pi. This is this number and then you have to find the cube root of this. So you press 3 shift this key. This is cube root of the answer. So it's finding the square root of this number which is 9.35. Okay, so I want the answer. So let me write R is 9.35 dot 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 and that is going to be your answer. So I want the exact answer. So I can say well dsa by dt is going to be 250 divided by r which is your answer. So again let me get my calculator out. So you can go 250 divided by shift answer which is 26.7 centimeters, so rounding in 1 dp. So you can say this is 26.7 centimeters squared per second.